Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Thanks a lot for inviting me here. I'm very glad. I was thinking, in fact, if making this presentation in French or in English after I said I don't know uh, what language will speak, will prefer, in fact, the public I will I will meet. So, uh, so I prepared my presentation in English, and so here we are. So. I'm very glad to show this project of mine that comes from a personal need. Let's say this is a project made from a composer uh, for my personal job. I'm a composer and I teach composition for electronic music in Italy. And this is a project made by a composer for other composers. And this is a project that focuses on making a new Max package to build faster um, what we can call what we can say normally we call here at the URCAM a concert patcher. So uh, we can start to think what is a concert patcher because maybe uh, I'm sure it's clear for all the people that works that is in contact anyway with with the researcher and with composers of the URCAM. But maybe for other people that have that has another training, another tradition, it, it could not be so clear. So let's say. A concert patcher is the main patcher that we use when we program something in Max or in Pure Data. Is the same for a conceptual point of view. Is the same. Uh, is the main patcher that in which we fill all our modules for the audio signal, for the uh, for the audio treatment, for the MIDI data, for the MIDI processing. So for all things that we need in order to program the live electronics, uh, the electronics uh, generally, for a uh, piece, for example, with live instruments on stage or with MIDI devices, etc. So it's really a very general, uh, we can say a very general concept. It's just, in fact, the main frame in which we feel all things we need in order to perform a piece. Uh, for sure, it is not the only way that we can use in order to program the electronics of a piece. But anyway, um, I had the chance to work in several countries, and I must say that is the tradition I learned here here at the IRCAM during my training that was long three years with several projects between 2009 and 2012. Um, for my personal experience, it was the, the cleanest way to think how to route the data and the 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 audio signal inside a max patcher uh, we can think if it can be applied to every piece the answer is yes because it's a very general concept and after we feel for each situation what we need what we don't need we cancel so it's really a very general state of mind, so it can be applied for the mixed music, so the music with acoustical instruments on stage, with N live sources, we don't mind, in fact, the number, we can say, for the audio inputs, and, and if we have it for the video too, anyway, we can apply it for installations, we can apply it for other music hybrid situations, it depends. Uh, so let's say that a concert patcher faces the organization of the data and signal routing inside a match patcher. Um, for a technical point of view, we can say that a, a concert patcher is mostly based on a pipeline in that architecture. Yes, for sure, we have some parts with some recursive algorithms. Uh, for example, if we think all the times that we use a poly anyway, that we use uh, several instances of the same object anyway, we go, we go further the simple pipeline architecture. But anyway, the, the basics of the routing of the signal is something that comes inside the computer, has some treatment somehow, maybe, maybe we can split the same signal in several threads, but anyway, it's always the same. And after we go, yeah, we go out anyway um, to the loudspeakers or to other machines, etc. Um, one very important thing that anyway marks the aesthetics of the programming. In my personal experience, I think that when we arrive to a certain level, the technique of programming faces the aesthetic of a piece. We cannot think that the way in which we program is separated from the aesthetics of the sound we produce. Anyway, 
the quality of the treatments also faces the way in which we have programmed them. Uh, the, in the last 35 years, anyway, since uh, we can say maybe Jupiter, a concert for um, for piano, Jupiter or Pluto in this moment, I'm not remembering that is a piece of Philippe Manouri made here uh, at the year coming 1989 with the very with a very old machine, the, the next, uh, that was a workstation just made for the live electronics developed here, here in this institution, um, there was the habit to split the electronic of a piece in several, in several moments, in several group of instructions that we can call them as events. So a group of events is just a cue list and each we can say that each group of instruction is uh, the group of instruction that is able to change the state of the main patcher, and this technique faces the need to follow the musicians on stage. In this way, the transformation of the audio signal, etc., will follow the interpretation of the musicians, and and it will not be, we can say, rigid in the sense one person at the computer or also the musician itself through a MIDI device, for example, a MIDI pedal on stage, can uh, be uh, ductile together with the electronics because, because in this way the electronics will not be rigid, will not force the timing of interpretation of the musical piece. Uh, the group of instruction is normally contained in a text file that is called computer score. There are several techniques. We, we all know that there are several techniques for the computer scoring. It can be made with a MIDI pedal, with the keyboard of the laptop. It can be made automatically, for example, with Antescofo, that is one of the main algorithms for the, for, the, uh, for the automatic score following. There are new techniques that are coming facing the neural, uh, the, the neural science for choosing in real time which events we can apply to some situations or not, etc. But anyway, this is something that goes, anyway, we can say over what uh, what my package wants to do in the sense uh, my package will not phase the treatment of the signal it's just something that phases the architecture of a max patcher for a concert patcher so we say that in fact a musicians can trigger the different events the same events can be triggered uh, from the backstage as for example i like i don't like to see a musicians on stage that anyway push push on a pedal but it's just a a personal choice. I prefer, in fact, that the electronics uh, seems quite magic, so that that all things come without seeing a real uh, a real action coming from the stage. Uh, so, just for finish this introduction, we can say that a concert patcher must be deterministic. Otherwise, there is no reason to spend a lot of time programming it. What does it mean, deterministic? It means that it must. It must make always the same thing. It must be predictive. It means that we must know what will happen on the next e event. That is something that requires a very strong programming. Otherwise, we will always be victim of the case, of the chance that something is happening because we are lucky or not. Um, in some way, we can say that a very good way to program, I think, is that we must find a place for everything, and everything must have its place inside a max patcher. In this way, we will be sure that the routing of the signal, the treatment of the signal, will be clean. And I think that when the signal is clean, also the aesthetic of the piece will be cleaner. Um, so why I made this job? Um, there was a moment in 2013-14 I had really several pieces with live electronics to write and I was getting tired to start a new Max Patcher, always feeling this, the same things. So I was realizing that there were a core of the Max Patcher that was always the same. And so I said, but why I must make this very long copy and paste 
work before starting what I call the creative part of the patching, in the sense of the most fun part, anyway, when we start to think the treatments and so on. Um, so I started within my PhD to uh, think what normally changes in an architecture for a live electronics mass patcher. And I, saw, I thought that, that normally we change the number of the inputs, we change the number of the outputs, depends from the piece, but sometimes it also depends from the situation. For example, I can make the first performance of a piece with a setup with eight channel, and after I have another performance in which I just had four. So another, another need I could have is to find a very smart way to readapt a max patcher very quickly because I don't want to lose time in reworking a max patcher I already made because me, I prefer to spend my time in making something new. Uh, the same thing for the MIDI setup, the treatments, the computer score. This is something too local that faces really each piece. We cannot think to copy and paste a um, uh, computer score. It, this is really not possible. What is that does not change? What is the hard part of a concert patcher that is toward the thinking that a max patcher, that a concert patcher, sorry, could become in the future a, a software, an independent software? So we don't change the patcher settings, the DSP monitor, the security tricks to, uh, to avoid problem, problems while performing the piece, etc. Uh, and all the other things that I listed here, these parts are always the same and sometimes we neither need to touch them, we just make a very uh, short copy and paste. Um, so I start to, um, to go a little bit faster because I see that the time is running. So just to say, in fact, the state of art. If we think about what it was, in fact, the state of art of the mass collection that we can find on the market today, this is the list of the main collections. And for example, we know that since Max 7 appeared, Beep and Weasel became a part of the basic package, let's say, and we can find even a shortcut on the left part of of each max window, so in order to recall via snippets um, the beep collection and the visual collection. The other collection are quite similar for the intention. It means that all of them offer the classical treatments such as reverb, compression, limiting, delays, the most classical treatments for the live electronics. Uh, for example, there are some little differences. For example, Yamoma, that is an open project, also, also integrates some external objects that force the logic of the audio treatments. Nasio Max interface instead is something that has been developed here that is just made with the object of the institution. So it offers a ready to use way to use all, all the objects uh, developed here. But anyway, the concept of, of all this collection is quite the same in the sense all this collection offers the ready to use uh, way to treat the signal, but no collection faces another need that all of us has, that is the architectural part, how to root the signal, how to make a patcher cleaner and faster. So this is, in fact, the, um, the reason for which I wanted to share what it became for me after several pieces, my personal habitude, how to start a concert patcher. Um, so, so mixed and fat is just an, architect uh, an architectural framework and goes toward the, the transformation of a max patcher as middleware. So, so it's not it's not just max. It's not a software because because anyway, I wanted to leave the programming of my of my of my, of my modules as open as possible. So all modules, you can customize them, duplicate them, change them, you can change all names, all send, all receive, is really the beginning of your personal work. And, and it is just, in fact, the, 
the beginning of a picture and I'm quite sure that all of us make the same things. This is in fact the reason for which I thought that this collection was important. Uh, no signal transformation, so each user will be perfectly responsible of the audio treatment. Why this? I would never use something that is made by somebody other if we face the, uh, the audio treatment. I prefer to do things with my poor tools but personal ones. Um, so I think that for other composers it's the same. Um, so, in fact, the target for this collection, for sure, is the middle skilled and advanced max user, because you cannot be really beginner. You need, you need to know how to patch anyway. This is the beginning of the work, but anyway, I think that each user must know how to use max, otherwise it's quite no sense to use this collection, I say. Um, so we can see, in fact, this is for the architectural point of view, in fact, uh, the beginning, if we think when we use a presentation, the, the presentation mode in Max, uh, we face what we can call about the design pattern, the MVP design pattern. Um, Mixed uh, tries to go toward another design pattern that is called MVVM, that is in fact model view view model. It means that the same, graphic, the same graphical object is able to be both the graphical interface and also the answer of the, the, the algorithm after that the signal or the data have been processed. So it's just a smarter way, in fact, to, to use less space in our screen. It's just this. Uh, we can see that anyway, this is the general schema of Mixed. Uh, the user use Mixed. Uh, for sure, behind Mixed there are the scripts that we make, because, because me, I make nothing about the audio. And after, anyway, Mixed also faces and shows how the audio is reacting uh, after being processed with our tools. Uh, several architecture for sure are possible in the sense that we are not obliged to use all the times all the models. So we can really use just in fact the models we want. If, if I just want an input and an output, it will work. It can work if I just want to feel in fact an audio treatment. I don't know what, it's a personal choice. Or for example, I can just use it for diffusing and treating an audio file. So uh, it's something that I can copy and paste, fill my things, uh, and I can start to think, for example, what is I, I think nice of this package. I, I just recall the modules, and after two minutes, I'm, I'm really patching. I'm not losing time in preparing the patch in order to maybe do something creative. Uh, these are, for example, if we, if we start to use Antfet, more modules, for example, this is the collection of the audio input, uh, there is a place uh, to host uh, the virtual instruments and so on. This is how we can connect the modules uh, um, with a MIDI controller using a MIDI keyboard, etc. This is something that is a little bit more complex uh, with also the place. Where is the place and threat for, um, for the computer scoring? And uh, this is, in fact, the main architecture when we use all the modules. So uh, we can say that almost everything can communicate with everything. Yes, for sure, that is a, a logic, but it's quite simple. It's nothing of special in the sense it's normal that uh, all modules can communicate with the things that goes toward anyway the function they are supporting. Um, so we jump just a moment. This is the list of the 17th model. When I decided, in fact, which model I wanted to fill, I was quite, in fact, uh, stressed because, because, because I said I, I just want to put the modules that um, can be really useful for everybody without filling the modules that come from a personal need, a personal habit. So, so I think this list of 17th models uh, is, is really very general, is something that everybody of us uh, can use. Uh, for example, uh, what is called MIDI pedal, it's called MIDI pedal, but we can substitute it with, a, with another MIDI device. It's just, in fact, these names come also from the tradition of the concert patcher developed here at the IRCAM. Uh, this is something very important. I, I did not invented this technique, it's something that I learned here at the IRCAM, and I saw there was this gap, 
So I said after several years, why not? Why to not in fact realize something that anyway formalize a habit that is long at least 35 years here in France and in the world. Um, so if you want to download in fact, the package, this is the, the, the address. It's just in fact, my name, surname.com. And after there is in the main menu mixed and is for sure for free. And uh, I just want to show you in Max. So I close and fat here. And so, for example, we can use and fat all the modules both as uh, normal modules. But me, in fact, I think the most, uh, the fastest way is to recall them here from the snippet list. And so, for example, I want to recall an audio input. Why I made this? This is the, the, the technique I used. Ah, OK, sorry. OK, surprise. So uh, I must share the monitor. This is the reason, I think, yeah. OK. So I so I make it again. So I think the fastest way is to recall the modules from the snippet list we have uh, here. So for example, this is the audio input. This is the technique I used. It's big enough, yes. Uh, this is the technique I used for conceiving each module in the sense that in the bit patcher, this is a bit patcher, we just have the controls, all object, all things that we don't need to change. But all the send and the receive anyway will allow to uh, use the modules by scripting. And so anyway, we can change their name. We can, for example, we can use two models of the same thing. It's just in fact we must need, we need to change the name of the send and receive. And this is I prefer it in the way to not force the logic of the programming in the sense, for example, in this case, I have two sources. I will simply change the name in MIG2, channel 2. In this way, in my computer score, I will have a dedicated receive for each module. And the same thing, I thought, in fact, to split the signal in two parts, but one, one will be in the logic I made inside here, one will be for the direct signal and the other one for routing inside the patcher in a way to, to treat the signal. And all the other things are quite, in fact, uh, are quite standard. I have a mute, I have, okay, it's nothing special. And for sure, the commands just work locally in the module I'm using and not in the other one. Uh, I just recall another one. And for example, this is my output. So where is, is here, is where? is here, audio output. And so, for example, also here, I have all my commands and fat external from the B-patcher. And I can simply um, say how many microphones I have, uh, how many inputs I have, four, five. And the model automatically creates all the connections to the DSP. So it's something, for example, if I want to change um, from eight to two, it's just I made this, and for sure I must, in fact, change the the attributes for the send and receive. But anyway, the connection to the duck to the final object have have been made automatically via the object dispatcher. Um, so, for example, if we want to see uh, when you will download the um, the collection there is a demo and we can try to perform it it's it's very simple it's just something to show uh, no this is the overview this is the demo so it's just how can look and fit all the models all together and for sure you can put them as you want it's something i was I was thinking if making all the models with the same size, with the same shape, but a friend of my designer told me no. In this way, even if you just make a jump like this with the eyes, with a different form, you will able after a while to recognize which module it is without reading. It's just that for sure needs a little bit of training, but anyway, I think can be useful. And for sure, you can decide the shape as you prefer. It depends according with the project. So for example, in this way, I just make an, initia an initialization. And let me check if I have some mistakes. This was another patch. It doesn't, 
it does not face here here believe me so so okay perfect and for example with the first event i i change in fact i put all the setup to perform a piece something i hope i have audio let's say and here i have audio i can send the direct or not it depends and through here i can route the signal where i want for example I will... okay sorry no no it's not a good idea <laughs> Okay, but I can route the signal where I want. This is another thing that is important, you see. Okay, so I try to make this. It's hello, 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 hello. It's very dangerous. Okay, let's forget. So, I'm diffusing an audio file, and this is, in fact, I made some shortcuts, but for example, this is via QList, in fact, the series, the computer score. This is the method, I think, one of the of the, um, the the most simple but anyway if you want to use your own method and fact to make it you can do it and for example i'm triggering this is something above uh, it's very simple you can see it's just a very simple envelope i'm sending but anyway it's just an example and so i will continue to perform my piece and I have another thing, I thought it was also an audio treatment on the output, but like this is too dangerous. And so I have my actions and after I finish my piece. And so that's all. If you have questions, I'm very glad to answer you now or during the coffee, by mail, by phone. Thanks a lot.